For me, this media industry, this media landscape is beautiful at the moment because you need very little to make a massive impact, to be seen and heard. Uh, I come from a school of thought where if you do not have something to say, shut up. The name is Udo Karl, sir. Um, if you were to ask me what I did for a living, I would say that I am a storyteller. Uh, I've had the privilege of working across just about every broadcaster that South Africa has to offer, both for radio and television, over the past 22 years. Telling stories, either as a presenter, a producer, a scriptwriter, uh, and, and uh, across all mediums in the country. That's what drives me, that's what uh, gets me out of bed every single morning. I grew up in a place oddly named Atlantis, after the, the lost city of it, the mythical lost city of Atlantis. And what I didn't know as, as a young South African is just what significance that place actually held in apartheid folklore. It, it was a place that was created specifically for people like my parents, uh, under the old classification of uh, coloured in the apartheid years, as a town that, that, that should make the rest of the world think that apartheid is working. In other words, they, they, they provided a space for young coloured families to grow and thrive within that, that racially segregated hierarchy. And, and that's the town that I grew up in. at a pub, chilling with my mates, playing pool from probably two in the afternoon till about two in the morning. And I saw a friend of mine that I went to school with, who, who at the time happened to be a newsreader for uh, the local radio station in Cape Town, the regional radio station in Cape Town, rather, KFM. Uh, walked up to her and I said, listen, I'm studying English, public administration and philosophy, but I'm a student, I need uh, extra cash. So if, if, even if it means I can make coffee for you guys at the radio station, so be it. Let me pull in, let me just have a word, a foot in the door. Uh, a week later, I got a phone call to say, Guy, pull in, come and have a chat with us. Uh, there might be some work. And, and I suppose that day when I went in was the life changer for me. It was a critical moment in my news career. I can't remember the exact year, but there was a new story involving a young girl who went to go and drink at a tavern, 14 years old at the time, went to go and drink at a tavern with her boyfriend um, and, and was brutally murdered. She was stabbed 54 times. And immediately when that story happened, it, it impacted me deeply. And I remember the days that the day that, that, that the three guys eventually got sentenced for Valencia Farmer's murder, when they went in, we, we had limited access to them going into the prison system, but it, is, it was as if they were receiving a, a, a hero's welcome in prison. I, I, in that instant, just felt I, I can't do hard news directly every single day anymore. And the first job <laughs> that I saw in the Sunday Times was for an associate producer for a show called The Toasty Show on ETV back in the day. Had no TV experience when I applied for that job, but I got a call up for an interview up in Johannesburg. And the current affairs side of my work, and I suppose my, my dashing sense of humor, uh, got me that job. Three months after I arrived in Joburg, the exec producer said, well, the channel told us that we're no longer continuing with the show, so good luck, go and find yourself another job somewhere. And I was able to fall back into my journalistic skills. Worked at 702 for uh, three years as an anchor, reporter, presenter, slash producer. Uh, loved it. Worked on, on The Breakfast Show with Gareth Cliff back in the day. Um, and, and from there, decided I, I've now done adult contemporary radio. I've done hard news and, and current affairs and talk. How's about I do something completely different? and go the route of a youth radio station which at the time 
was at the epicenter of this absolute explosion of, of young South African culture, particularly black young South African culture. It, it was the expression platform for that amazing energy at the time in the early 2000s. And, and once again, was fortunate enough to go and work at YFM with the biggest legends in the game. I was privileged enough to, to walk in there with my current affairs skills and become a news editor at, at YFM for some time. But also, of course, stemming from that, uh, was a sports anchor and because of that started working on what are, what are probably still my most favorite years in this industry, working with Tato and Tato, with uh, Fresh and Tato on the breakfast show at YFM. And <laughs> yo, I can think back now to the kind of things we used to get up to on that show and just think of it as, as, a, as an amazing fun period, but also just blessed to be part of what really is, and I hope it still is, the heartbeat of young black South Africa to be working at that station. And, and that experience there was important for me because I remember working across KFM, working at a place like the Toasty Show. As a, as a young black South African, in order to work in those spaces, 702 and KFM, you needed to sound a particular way. Like, whatever your personality was that you came in with, you almost had to pack it up and leave it at the door in order to be a news anchor or a news reporter on those platforms. YFM was completely different. At YFM, it was a case of, who are you? Now come and express yourself in that way on air. This industry is a funny one in the sense that it can swallow you whole, chew you up, spit you out if you're in it for the wrong reasons. I think I, I came from a very strong content background. So what I look like on this camera and what I look like on that camera to me has always been less important than what's coming out of my mouth, than the story that I'm trying to tell. So I think my advice to young people who want to be in this industry is know your lane, man. Know what you want to do. There, there's so many various aspects in the creative industries that you can tap into. If you want to be a, a TV star, if you want to be a super mega film star, then know that and be honest to yourself about that. If you're in doubt but you think you want to work in this space, you owe it to yourself to first give yourself the time to figure out exactly what it is because you could be the next great DOP who never shot a single reel in this industry because you were confused by the lights and thought maybe I should be a TV star. And life is too short regardless of the industry that you want to be in. To be a doer. Be a nice person. Be a nice person. Be nice on your way up even be nice on your way down because this industry is fickle. You could be working 12 months out of 12 months this year and next year one out of 12. And that phone will continuously ring to book you if the people who have that power like what and who you are even before the skill that you walk through the door with. So don't be a doer. For me, there's no better place than South Africa if, if you consider yourself a storyteller. This place is pregnant with stories, bruh. Pregnant. And I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Yep, that's how we wrap up our ep oh. That's how we wrap up our episode 6.
Yep, that's how we wrap up our sixth episode of the Hustlers Ngadzin and Mudimeli Murugada Flip Cheesy Easy Baby. Yeah, man. Uh, I hope you did enjoy the content that we brought. Um, other than that, it's just subscribe to the channel. More content coming up. Like, we'll be reviewing some of the music videos that we have shot, some of the dockies we have shot, what sort of gears that we have used while, yeah. Uh, yeah subscribe man we just need to grow because a lot of content we had to cut out simply because of the time limit we are given by youtube because of we still growing we have been past the thresholds uh max so yeah by you sharing the video commenting giving us some constructive criticism it will be so much great so yeah constructive criticism yeah had to get that word right um yeah other than that just be safe man be safe be safe be safe we're not gonna even go into this subject because we all are aware so be safe